All right, let's get right to our strategy session. Joining us, our CNN political contributor, the Democratic strategist Donna Brazil, also our CNN political contributor, the Republican strategist Alex Castellanos. Guys, thanks very much for coming in. Alex, I'm going to start with you. I want you to react. Sarah Palin was on Fox last night. She's a Fox News contributor, and she had this to say about Mitt Romney's sort of last-minute decision to oppose the debt ceiling uh, compromise that was approved. Listen to how she reacted. On it. I want these candidates who are in there, I want them to not be sitting back. And bless his heart, I have respect for Mitt Romney, but I do not have respect for what he has done through this debt um, increase debate. He, he did this. He waited until it was a done deal that we would increase the debt ceiling and more money would be spent, more money borrowed and then spent on bigger government. And then he came out and he made a statement that, oh, he didn't like the deal after all. She kept raising her finger and looking which way the wind was blowing, if you will. Does she have a point? Well, I want to defend Mitt Romney here, even though I'm not supporting Mitt or any other Republican candidate, just whoever's going to run against Barack Obama. But you know, Wolf, what the uh, debt ceiling debate needed, it needed more politics, right? It needed to, more presidential campaign politics to, to, it just wasn't chaotic enough without it. I can understand why uh, it wasn't a good idea, I think, for the country or for Mitt Romney's campaign for him to inject himself. He took a stand early. He said he was for cut, cap, and trade, the, the first Republican plan which passed the House. That was probably enough. She does have a point, though, about uh, Mitt's campaign that he hasn't really defined himself. You know, a lot of people look at Romney and say, who is he? What does he stand for? And so he does need soon to fill the vacuum that's out there on the Republican side. Cut, cap, uh, cut, cap, and balance. That's cut, a, yeah. Cut, I cap, just want to be precise exactly. on, on the lingo. Uh, on a broader picture, though, Donna, does does she sound like someone who might uh, decide relatively late stage to run? Well, as you well know, Wolf, regardless of her intentions to seek the presidency, uh, just continue to blow hot air on. Uh, Fox News. Sarah Palin uh, still has a large following. But I, I want to also defend Mitt Romney because, look, the last thing we needed during this entire hostage-taking uh, negotiation over paying America's bills was, uh, was to hear from another politician with, with nothing to say. Uh, I think imp it's important to understand that uh, while Sarah Palin did uh, chime in from time to time, it was often to criticize Republicans or to tell them to hold their grounds and not, uh, uh, not pay America's bills and let the country go uh, into default. I think going forward, it's important for these candidates, whether they're, they're running uh, to, to win the Republican nomination or just running to, running to keep their mouths running, they need to decide what they're for. It's not good enough just to say that you're opposed to Barack Obama in 2012. What are you going to do to help create jobs and get this economy back on track uh, in 2012? Alex, you're a good Republican. Does she sound like a candidate to you? Is she going to run? I don't think so, Wolf. Uh, you know, not everyone is, uh, is uh, and personal ambition to be the president of the United States. Some people actually think they can do a lot of good for their country. They care about their country. and. and uh, I think Sarah Palin has smartly figured out that she is more powerful being the power behind a lot of thrones than trying to sit uh, in that big chair in the Oval Office. Uh, I, I, you know, it's, uh, I don't think it's about making money for her. She's a principled person who thinks that uh, she may not be the best candidate to beat Barack Obama, but she's actually very powerful as an endorser as as a validator of uh, republican credentials almost like a rush limbaugh another person who's never going to be president but it's very powerful it's very to republicans all right uh, let's talk a little bit about president obama he's running for re-election as you well know uh, they announced at the white house today he's going to start a bus trip through the midwest states uh, to be uh, announced shortly on august 15th for about a week sort of reminds me donna you'll remember this when bill clinton and al gore went on their bus trips when they were seeking re-election back in 96. Is he going to the Bill Clinton playbook on this one? I don't know if it's Bill Clinton's playbook or some other playbook from the past, but I can tell you one thing. The American people are concerned about job creation. And he should start his, his bus tour right there at Reagan Airport or Dulles or BWI to encourage the Republicans to stop holding our aviation industry hostage so that we can get those construction workers and those air controllers back on the job. As you know, Wolf, uh, thousands of them have been furloughed. The construction workers are now stalled. Let's start with those who are 
are simply waiting for Congress to, to act. So it's a good time to get out of Washington, D.C. I'm out of Washington, D.C. Alex, the weather's good out here. Come on out to California. I'll even buy you lunch and pay for it. But it's Sounds important like that the deal. president get out there and start creating those jobs. And well, let me just give you three things. The president said we need to get this infrastructure bank uh, you know, acted upon. We need these free trade agreements, three of them. Uh, there are some other initiatives that he's put forward. It's time the Republicans and Democrats come together to create jobs for the American people. Well, he wants to make sure he still has his job, so he's going to be campaigning in Pennsylvania, Ohio, a lot of these states that could go either way, uh, Al Alex. He doesn't, he doesn't have an opponent for the Democratic nomination, but he's out there very busy raising lots of money and, and uh, doing what a, a candidate does. And it's interesting, Well, ordinarily the greatest asset that an incumbent president has for re-election is his stature as president. That's why you stay in the Rose Garden as long as possible. Becoming a candidate as opposed to a president usually is, a, is something you want to delay. Not necessarily for Obama, though. He's been all politics all the time since he's been in the White House, so continuing the campaign, in effect, doesn't change that and I think it's actually a smart thing for him to get out of Washington be seen less as the Washington establishment and start talking about uh, and start talking about jobs something he really hasn't focused on for a while right. I think he's gonna call his bus the unemployment express I don't think he will but hey, we'll, we'll Alex, cover, that's, we'll cover that's not true he's gone he's gonna call this bus America and the 21st century job creation number one he is ready to get the jobs agenda back All on right. the American agenda I wish Hillary was driving Donna and Alex uh, continuing this conversation during the commercial break, guys. Thanks.